How to build your glutes. Having a nice round glute for men and women is considered to be attractive as opposed to having an undeveloped gluteus maximus or rather a flat butt. A strong and developed glute is paramount to performance and some people struggle to develop and strengthen it. Unlike certain muscle groups that are attributed by genetics, you can certainly do a lot to shape and add mass to the gluteus maximus. This helps the body in various ways, such as being able to lift heavier, run faster, jump higher, and reduce the risk of any muscle imbalances in the body. With that being said, in this video, I'll share the four best science-based exercises that can assist in strengthening and shaping the glute. In order to move on to the exercises, we need to assess the anatomy of the glute. But before we dive in, a lot of research and editing goes into making a video like this. Just do me one favor, if you wouldn't mind, gently hit the like button, it'd be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new. Let's kick it off. The anatomy. The glutes are the three muscles that make up the buttocks. The gluteus maximus muscle, the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus. The gluteus maximus. It is the largest of the gluteal muscles. It is also the most superficial, producing the shape of the bum. It is the main extensor of the thigh and assists with lateral rotation. However, it is only used when the force is required, such as running or climbing. The gluteus medius is fan-shaped and lies between the gluteus maximus and the minimus. It is similar in shape and function to the gluteus minimus. It adducts and medially rotates the lower limb. During locomotion, it secures the pelvis, preventing pelvic drop of the opposite limb. And finally, gluteus minimus, the deepest and smallest of the superficial gluteal muscles. It is similar in shape and function to the gluteus medius. Now that we have a thorough understanding of how the glutes function and its role in biomechanics, we can now go through our top four science-based exercises. Exercise one, the barbell hip thrust is the best exercise to increase gluteal muscle strength and size as a whole. This is no surprise, as this workout was popularized by Brett Contreras, who's also known as the glute guy, and he has a PhD in this stuff. The hip thrust is a hip extension movement that is primarily done by the gluteus maximus. However, the gluteus medius still gets significant activation, with studies shown an average activity of 47-60% to MVIC, the maximum voluntary isometric contraction, depending on its variation. For those who desire to develop their glutes at home, a 2020 study by the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine, the results of the systemic review have shown that the gluteus maximus was maximally activated by the step-up exercise. However, the hip thrusts are a more suitable choice because its ability to overload the muscle by increasing the weight. The increase of the one rep max elicited a higher activation of the gluteus maximus and medius. Because of the way the barbell is positioned during the hip thrust, your glutes are forced to work hard throughout the entire range of motion, which isn't the case for squats, deadlifts, or most other glute exercises. Thus, although the hip thrust may not be the all and all of the glute exercises, it's still worth doing. How to Sit on the floor with your back wedged against the bench. The back hinges on the bench at the line that's just beneath your scapulae. Avoid sliding up and down the bench. Roll the barbell over your thighs so that it sits in your hip crease. I would recommend using a pad to protect your hip bones from bruising and to make the exercise more comfortable. Plant your feet on the floor about shoulder width apart with your toes slightly flared out so that your knees are bent to about 90 degrees. Push the bar upward with your hips by pressing through the heels until your upper body and thighs are parallel to the floor and your shins are vertical. Reverse the movement and return to the starting position. If you can't lock out the hips, then you're going too heavy. You should attempt to think stable, flattened torso with pure hip motion. Exercise 2. My secret weapon with building my glutes. The squat. A 2020 study concluded that the back squat was more efficient than the hip thrust since it resulted in greater muscle hypertrophy of the quadricep femoris and the gluteus maximus. It increases in back squat one rep max and similarly increases in hip thrust. I must note that the other studies have shown that the hip thrust to be the king of the glute exercises. 
However, in my personal experience, the squat has always been my primary leg movement and allowed good development to not only my glutes, but my entire lower body. Some research has also shown that using a wider than shoulder width stance when you squat might be better to activate the glutes than using a normal or narrow stance. Thus, if your main goal is to build your glutes, you may want to try squatting with your feet a few inches wider than usual. How to Step under the bar, pinch your shoulder blades together and rest the bar directly above the bony ridges on the bottom of your shoulder blades. Lift the bar out of the rack. I highly recommend being directly under the bar with both feet positioned next to each other. Take one or two step backwards and place your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart with your toes slightly pointed out. Make sure you're firmly holding the barbell in place before performing the exercise. Sit down and remember to keep your back straight and push your knees out in the same direction as your toes throughout each rep. Squat until you reach parallel and explode. Stand up and return to the starting position. Exercise 3. The deadlift is hands down the best exercise for training your entire posterior chain, which are the muscles on the back side of your body, including your glutes. It also allows you to use some of the heaviest weights in any of your workouts, which means it's ideal for gaining strength and muscle. To take it one step further to building amazing glutes, I highly recommend the sumo deadlift. Due to the foot placement and hip knee angles in the setup, the sumo deadlift targets the glutes due to hip external rotation and vastus medialis, the inner quads, to a greater extent than the conventional deadlift. How to Position your feet so they're slightly narrower than shoulder width apart, with your toes slightly flared out. Move the bar as close as possible to your shin to be able to bring the center of gravity closer to you. Grip the bar with your hands just outside your shins. I typically choose the innermost portion of the knurling. If you're a beginner, I recommend using a double overhand grip. As you increase in strength and weight, over and underhand grip is recommended for better grip strength. Flatten your back and constantly keep your chest tucked out and drive your body upward and slightly back by pushing through your heels until you're standing up straight. Keep your head in a neutral position in line with your spine. Exercise four, the gluteus medius, the upper glutes, is the prime mover of hip abduction, which is the main function. Hip abduction occurs when you move the leg away from the body laterally. Moving it forward would be hip flexion. This is done by both the posterior and anterior portions of the gluteus medius. It's one of the best glute isolation exercises. How to? Start by bringing the pads together so that you can sit and place your feet on the footrest and your knees outside the knee pads. Now move the pads out as far as comfortable until a mid stretch is felt in your inner thighs. This is the starting point. Keep your back on the seat, brace your core, you're reducing your lower back arc and place your hands on the handles. Bring your knees back together, pretty much in line with your hips. Stop about an inch before the weight hits the weight stack. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now. The previous video, as I promised, from this point onwards and each and every single video, I am going to be doing a gift card of either EHP Labs, Alphalete, or Gymshark. All you need to do is comment your favorite part of the video and like and subscribe. And the winner, I'm going to pin their comment and announce it. Elijah Olson, you're the winner of the previous video, the Love Handles one. So send me a DM. I've sent a message to you as well on this particular video so i'm looking forward to hearing from you and let me know guys what you guys think if you have any questions ask me in the comment section down below i am here for you coaching i don't have any spots but if you really need the help the application is in the description below so you can go through that and maybe i'll contact you in the future but i'll leave the video here again each and every single video all you need to do is comment your favorite part of the video like the video and be subscribed and I also just wanted to leave you guys with this message. I might do another giveaway for someone who comments. I can't wait for Wednesday's video. I'm going to be uploading something that is different, something that's been on my heart for a very long time. So if you comment, I can't wait for Wednesday's video, I might pick one person from there. And that means you stick stuck to the very end. We're not even gonna cut that out. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.